for those that are unapologetically young at heart, I have some book recommendations. Um, I love underwater fantasy uh, books. These are two separate series that are among my favorite fantasy novels. I adore them. This is the Water Fire Saga, which I've discussed previously, but I'm going to do it again because it's so good. Um, Deep Blue, Rogue Wave, Dark Tide, Sea Spell by Jennifer Donnelly, Water Fire Saga. And then my second favorite book series um, by Catherine Jones Payne, the Broken Tide series, uh, Breakwater, Cross Current, Maelstrom. She does have some short stories in these series, um, which are electric, um, electronic book format. I only read print format because I'm a book snob and old fashioned. <laughs> and I just absorb the material better. I don't really, um, enjoy reading on a computer or a book reader. Um, if she ever came out with them in print format, I would immediately pick them up. Um, but these three are wonderful. And um, they really give you, the reader, an idea of what it's like to live under the waves. There's different cultures, different realms. There's politics. There's court intrigue. There's uh, pets and communication with other um, sea animals. It's, it's really, really good. Um, the Water Fire Saga by Jennifer Donnelly, again, this is probably my all-time favorite. Um, and I love, each book comes with like a map of the different, the different realms underneath the ocean. You have all of us. And it is, these are just gorgeous books. I mean, if you just like gorgeous editions, they're really beautiful. The cover art is gorgeous. Um, this is more lighthearted. It's about like a dark prophecy and these uh, princesses from the different realms um, and different cultures have to join together to save the oceans. This is a little more adult because it has a little more court intrigue and like betrayal in it, but still really good. Um, young readers can still enjoy this. Uh, I would recommend this series first um, and then this one second. They are both phenomenal. Um, if you grew up in the uh, 80s or the 90s and you wanted something like The Little Mermaid and you wondered as a little girl um, what it was like to live in Atlantica, um, I did. I was like, I want to know what it's like. Um, these books kind of like answer that question. They give you an idea of what it's like to uh, be a mermaid. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't apologize for the fact <laughs> that I would probably want to be a mermaid. Um, these are wonderful for any kind of fantasy reader. They're good for, I would say, probably preteen and up. Um, and uh, these are good for even children because they're more lighthearted and they're very like Disney uh, princessy type vibes with the... Uh, you know, the Disney pets, you have, uh, each princess has like a pet. Um, it, it's just, <laughs> I can't recommend these enough. They're really, really good. So if you don't know about them, if you haven't heard about them, definitely give them a read through Water Fire Saga by Jennifer Donnelly and the Broken Tide Stories by Catherine Jones Payne. Very good.